Everybody knows about playing with dominoes, but what you may not know is that a domino can knock over another domino, which is about one and a half times larger. So what I have here is a chain of dominoes. Each one is one and a half times larger than the previous one. And the smallest domino is about five millimeters high and one millimeter thick. And I will carefully place it. And there are 13 dominoes. And the largest domino, it weighs about 100 pounds and is more than a meter tall. Ready? Boom. That was 13 dominoes. If I had 29 dominoes, the last domino would be as tall as the Empire State Building. Here we go. What's the physics going on here? Well, every time you stand up a domino, you lift it against gravity. And that stores some of gravitational potential energy in the domino. And you only have to put in a little bit of push to get it to that tipping point. And then you get all that energy back again when it falls over. And that's more than enough energy to knock over the next domino, which releases even more energy. So it turns out the amplification in this series of 13 dominoes is about 2 billion. So we put in a little tiny bit of energy at the beginning, and we get 2 billion times as much out at the end. But of course, we put all that energy in by lifting these dominoes and standing them up again. So that's a kind of chain reaction. You trigger it, and more and more energy comes out, and more and more energy is released each step. Let's see it in slow-mo. Slow-mo. 